We went to Windsor and we are inviting you to join us as we make the iconic long walk through Windsor Great Park and discover some fascinating hidden gems in the royal heart of England. Come along and join the adventure. So we are here in Windsor. We are starting our day in Windsor Great Park. We are just about to enter the top of the long walk by the copper horse statue so when we get there we will show you the view down the long walk to windsor castle but we've got a pretty spectacular view of windsor castle from here so we'll show you that in a second plan for the day head down the long walk to windsor castle explore some hidden gems and places in windsor itself get some lunch have a drink have a drink we've got absolutely no drink with us we haven't as We're usual this is us and then explore winter and then make our way back up the long walk so our way downtown walking back <laughs> no, 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 no. We've got all day, we don't need to walk fast. Take a look at this view. Look at this across Windsor Great Park. There's Windsor Castle, a bit hazy. We are actually in the deer park at the moment, so we could see some red deer at any time. We haven't seen any yet, but plenty of horse poo. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're getting worse already. We've spotted our first red deer just there. Oh, I'm going to get one over. Let's move forward. You can see just here is the deer. It's a little bit shaky because I've zoomed right in. Hopefully we'll see some more a bit clearer. So here we are, the copper horse statue. King George III riding a horse. What's he pointing at? He is pointing at Windsor Castle, which is all the way down there, down the long walk. That's where we're heading next. God. <laughs> oh. it's worth it for this view though isn't it it's pretty impressive i mean look at that just come the other side of the statue now you can get a better look of it from here because the sun's not behind the camera he's wearing sandals he is wearing sandals how strange it's very tall though the camera's not really doing it justice it is a very tall statue and then you can still see the long walk off down there right had our pictures taken with this thing let's do this walk right we're starting at 11.34. Let's see how quick we do this. Let's. We just love how people are just casually riding horses. I know, there's us just trotting along. And they're trotting along on their horses. I think we should get a horse. What? So we're kind of halfway between the Copper Horse statue and Windsor Castle off that way, but there's a massive herd of deer. You can just see them there under all of those trees a bit far away for us to get a decent look but there is literally loads of them we have made it to the gates of Windsor Castle you okay yeah that took us 55 minutes to walk that's not bad at all it's not bad at all it's definitely a long walk I mean you can see by looking up there where we come from are you happy we've made it we've done it refreshment is near thank god I can't actually see if the Queen's in residence or not because I think the flag is behind these trees so when we head round into the town, we'll be able to see a bit. We're telling her to put the kettle on. Yeah, put the kettle on. That'd be nice. <laughs> I hope she's got an espresso coffee Don't machine. Really have a quick sneaky peek through the gates. What a driveway. Imagine that being your driveway. So we have made it into Windsor Town. This is Queen Charlotte Street, the shortest street in the world. Does anyone know how long it is? Five steps. 1.8 metres. It's 51 feet. Oh, it is registered in the Guinness World Re Book of Records as the shortest street anywhere in the world. So we'll have a look up there in a minute. But here is another famous Windsor landmark, the Crooked House, the Market Cross House from 1718. I hope the camera's picking up that it's crooked. Yeah, the best thing is it's for sale, so if anyone wants to buy it. Yeah, <laughs> but run your business from here. Here we go, this is Queen Charlotte Street, the shortest street in the world. You can see the end, of course, nothing more British at the end of the street than a pub. We are now going to try and find somewhere to have something to eat and drink. I'm thirsty more than anything. Both. That walk took it out of us. Come around the side of Windsor Castle and here, the statue of Queen Victoria. <laughs> We're going to find the other statue of the current Queen later that you can actually look down on her. The only place in the world you can do that. Did you know? That's true. Yeah, I did know that. Still need food and drink though. Need food and drink. There is a place that this looks very nice here. I think that was the next one. Oh no, it was this place, wasn't it? I just said to 
Mm. Well, I'm sold. We've resisted the urge to go into a Southern American barbecue restaurant in Windsor. And, and we, because we're having a big dinner tonight. Yeah, we've come to a British cafe instead that's called Cafe, I think it says Les Royals. I'm waiting for a break and roll. You're waiting for... Cheese and ham croissant. And all under the watchful gaze of Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to cook it. You ain't got nothing. That's my bacon roll. You got nothing. We've got ours, so we're all right. You a happy boy now. I'm happy, it's really hot. <laughs> it smells really good. Somebody good say iced latte. Thank you very much. This is something we really want to do one day. There's not a lot of them left in the uh, UK, is there? I think it might be the only one. Is it the only one? This is the only place that doesn't? I think so. It's this way around. So what is this? This is the only clock in the ground, is that right? Windsor's thought to be the only town in Britain with a clock in the pavement. Outside Pizza Express. <laughs> well, Thai Terrace. Yeah, <laughs> bit of both. How random. There you go. Just on the top of this cute little street outside Nando's. It's Thames Street, this is. It leads down to the river, which is where we're going to head now. We just saw the clock move and we've just checked it is actually the right time. Good. I'm glad it's the right. How picturesque does this walkway look? How cool. I like it. This is quite quirky. It's pretty, isn't it? It's cute. Also, we've got the Royal Windsor Maze. I think we should go and give it yeah, a go. Yeah, so the Royal Windsor Maze is... Like, I was expecting like a proper maze, but... No, it's a tiled floor maze. Different. I like different. And then we've got a nice big waterfall down there, which we're going to go and have a look at as well. Daisy! Okay, so we're going to attempt the Royal Daisy, Windsor Maze. You, but you, can't, you can't go back on yourself. We're only allowed to go forwards. So, uh, so for example, you can't go up here, around here, and you can't go up there. You'd have yeah. to carry on around that way. Who's leading? You. Oh, what? Unless you want to lead. Just thinking about it. Sharon? What? Do you want to lead? Go on then, I'll do it for go a change. Right? Go on then, this, this should be interesting. Yeah. I'll go at the back. Do you know which what way time are we is? Due? How many days <laughs> have we got? <laughs> do you want to go next? Go on then. I'll be from behind. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Remember, don't go back on yourself. So where does this follow? Yeah, you can't go that way. You broke the rules. Because you deviated. You have to follow around. The brickwork. Yeah, so she's trying to cheat already. Honestly, is it either way? Is it like a fork? Yeah. Fork here now. Get it? Oh. Oh yeah, you've got to follow the brick. But where you're left, the bricks go that way. So that's four. Let me have, let me squeeze through. Backwards. No, but it doesn't because it kind of just. There's a debate at the front. No, you can go either way at this bit. Both sets of bricks go forward. Oh no! Oh, so we're back at the beginning. That wasn't the. We're aim. gonna have to go <laughs> another way. So yeah, start this way. Oh, no, but this goes doing? back round. Oh, we're going round. This goes back round to here. I can't go up there. Gonna get dizzy. So we're just walking around in I'll a I'll just stand now. here and film the lot of you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so we've taken a different route and we're going back we're on ourselves. Taken to explaining things. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we'll get into this middle bit in a minute. Made it. Well done. We did it, we did it. <laughs> Felt like that was harder than it needed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like we walked like 10 miles to that. Oh, that was longer than the long walk. <laughs> <laughs> Another plane. Nice view of the water fountain with the castle in the background. Where we just was. I was reading back there, it's a Jubilee Memorial Fountain. Yeah. So That's we're nice. going to head to uh, Windsor Riverside now because on the way past we saw loads and loads of swans on the riverbank. I think there's some geese as well, aren't there? Yeah, hopefully they're still all there and they haven't swam. I mean, away. there was hundreds of them, there so we're going to quickly see them before we go and see the Queen. Yeah. Herself. Kind of. Kind of. She's a bit looking a bit stiff. Stiff. This is what we meant. There's so many in a bundle down here. Hi. I have no food for you, though. Absolutely no food. You okay? Yep. They're literally following us along the river thinking we've got food. Oh, pigeon! There's also loads on the opposite riverbank over there. I think technically the other side of the river is Eton. Am I right? Yes, I think it is. Yes, yeah, so we're on the, the Windsor, Windsor side. Yeah. That over there is Eton. So they are very posh birds on the other side. I don't think I've ever seen so many swans in one place. I don't think I've ever seen it's mad, isn't it? They might eat your phone. So we have made our way up 
to Bachelors Acre, just through the town centre at Windsor. This is the only place in the world you can actually look down upon the Queen. I don't mean the actual Queen, of course, it is a statue of the Queen, but it's a very casual statue of the Queen, and not only is the Queen here, all of her corgis are here too. Look at this. All the little corgis running around. There's the Queen sat there, she's got a corgi on her lap. All the other corgis playing over here. That's possibly one of the nicest statues I've ever seen of the Queen. I wasn't expecting it to be like that at all. It's a nice... I wasn't expecting the dogs either. I know, it's a nice casual statue, like representing her as she actually lives rather than as a almighty powerful Queen. Hey boy. <laughs> it's quite well behaved. Not something you see every day. This is the only blue post box left. It is. They actually stopped putting them in in 1938. They were put in for air mail, but as you can see, no longer in use. Nope. But you can tell how old it is, because if you look at the current day red post box, you've got ER, obviously Elizabeth Regina, the current queen. Here, GR, King George, her dad. Wow. There you and go. You say well. <laughs> right next to an ancient well. What are the chances of that? Well, well, well. Look well. Look at this. And I know it's ancient, because it says it's ancient. But it's you used to be able to get stamps as well. Won't be doing any more though, it's empty. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button because it helps us to reach more people just like you. Making our way back along the long walk now, we've been greeted by the sight of this herd of deer again a bit closer. You can even see their antlers sticking up. That's amazing. It's a lovely breeze under here as well. We're getting very warm walking back up here. So we made it back to where we started. There's the copper horse statue. Oh. That was very hot work on the way back. Whew, I am sweating. One last look at that view though with the castle in the sun. Look at that. Bye Windsor. <laughs> Come around the side of Windsor Castle. Here's a statue of Queen Victoria. Wasn't expecting to. We'd like to give a massive shout out to all of our patrons and our YouTube members for their continued support of our content. If you haven't already, you can subscribe by clicking on our faces in the circle, or you can watch more of our vlogs by clicking on the rectangle. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.